what do you think were some of the upsides as well as the downsides of that kind of erratic nomadic uh, lifestyle? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I guess um, the with, with at least with, the, with at least the what I did the the most I guess the the worst thing was that I was I was basically wholly dependent. Um, I mean, I, I could travel, um, but I I didn't have uh, you know a good network of like online jobs to keep me to keep me afloat at that time. So like it was very very. Um, you know, very sketchy, get sketchy financially. Um, so that was, that was kind of, uh, I guess one, one kind of downside. Um, that kind of, uh, the, the unknown, which the unknown is also positive too, in my opinion. So it, it kind of goes either way. Um, but really the positive, and, and this was, um, I guess this was the part to my, my entire decompression process from the deep, the, from the Serval Society. Um, like really like a, like a, and, and I noticed this myself, but with people, when you're in a, you know, nine to five job, um, you know, 40 hours a week forever. Um, and you're always within that survival society mindset, you know, go, 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 survive, survive, survive. Um, you know, like it's, it's very, like it, it's, uh, you don't really have a lot, to, a whole lot of time to think about anything else. Right. So, um, that really, that was kind of the first opportunity I had. Um, cause when I was, I was either working and or going to higher level indoctrination college, um, you know, before that. So there wasn't a whole lot of time to really think about anything to, to reflect on my life growing up and, and all of that. So, um, that was really the first time where I, I call what I, I call, and, and this is what Rayo called it too back in the 1960s, but, um, I live what I call now a liberated lifestyle where my time is my own. I, I decide my schedule. I decide what I do. Um, and that started, um, essentially like it, it really fully started, um, I would say last year, but that, that was kind of the first opportunity I had for, for a, a multiple month span, um, to really start going through that. So. So yeah, that was a major upside. A major upside that even though um, it was uh, tumultuous, even though it was um, you know very dicey at times, um, like there was my time was my own still, and and there was a lot of value in that. There was a lot of you know even through kind of the chaos, there was that um, kind of that that kind of calm. You know that that the, the freedom was. I, I could kind of feel that that little I guess that that hint of freedom. Um. So yeah, it was uh, certainly the the catalyst for a lot of things to come. And, um, yeah, I'm, th- I'm trying to think of any other up- upsides or downsides that come to mind, but not, not really. I mean, that was the biggest upside. And the other, the, the other one, which is just kind of obvious when you, when you, um, um, if, if you're in, a, if you're in a position like I was, that's just kind of, you're, you're going to deal with, um, you know, money might be tight, but at the same time, like there's, there's, there's other benefits too.